Okay, so like a few like weeks ago, we did like a review of our Lance travel trailer and we said we we're gonna like replace the batteries and we've seen like a lot of questions, not directly to us, but just a lot of questions about like, how are they really just- Drop in ready? Drop in, yeah. Yeah, so uh, we thought we'd just do a quick video. Yeah, just a quick little one. How easy is it to install Battleborn batteries? Yep, that's right, lithium. it. Lithium. All right, well, let's do it. Today we're gonna be installing two lithium ion batteries into the Lance 2445 and we're going to find out if the lithium battery truly is just a swap and drop and what we have to do to do that. Um, these are the new heated units so that they, even if not insulated, can use some of its own power to heat itself internally so it can still accept a charge uh, or the two battery kit which means it did come with the wire that will be used here to essentially activate. Once you, the wire goes from here to here, this turns on the heating function. You don't want the heating function, you can take it off. They also supply a switch. That is our goal. So we're just gonna, we're gonna not do the switch in this setup. It's just gonna be the simplest install, which is drop it into the system, hook it up, with the little battery and we'll see hey does it fit or are these really drop in and then we'll show you the changes that you need to make on your settings on your monitors and controllers now my lance camper what we have here is two boxes they are vented for lead acid batteries and essentially all we're going to have to do is throw the new battery in here we will do that um and make sure it fits and put it back in. Um, we'll say since the lithium does not require vent um, and we're going to be trying to have it heated, so we're going to try to help this out. So we're going to actually put some insulation in here as well. On the other side, here we have the exact same setup. Shore power's off. Um, batteries inside my camper with the 916th, so we'll just take these off. Well, that took all of two seconds. So we've pulled out the batteries that were installed by the dealer in our camper. Uh, <laughs> funny story when I, uh, maybe not funny, but when I asked them what batteries they put in, they didn't even know. Um, <laughs> so I don't think there was a lot of thought put into it, but they had a couple of decent interstate batteries, uh, flooded batteries. Uh, we're gonna upgrade to the lithium. It's quite a bit bigger dimension wise, length wise, but the tray is bigger uh, on the least the Lance camper. Uh, the tray is built to accommodate the battle-worn lithiums because uh, they actually, you can choose that as an option. Uh, so, and the H model, which means heated, is the same dimensions as the non-H model. So that should not be a, an issue. They do recommend that you use a torque wrench uh, for torquing your connections. Um, make sure that you have it firm but not too tight. Uh, so we will now drop these in we will hook up uh the terminals and then lastly we will connect the sensor all right the drop in was fairly straightforward as predicted it fits all right when you go to connect this you will want to you be adding this so essentially we will have our our bolt our washer cable terminal this wire washer nut so we uh we'll go ahead and put that on Hey, now that the batteries are both installed and connected, um, all we need to do is take this sensor wire, which is connected to this terminal, and we will be tying it down to the sensor. Don't worry about sparks or nothing. Um, you're not gonna get any from here. Uh, Bellborn does say, make sure you get it tight enough now that it won't wiggle, but uh, also make sure how out of place, but you also don't wanna, you know, over torque it. So just, Use some care there. Um, we'll do that and the batteries will be installed, but we'll still have to make a couple changes on the inside of the camper uh, for this setup. Okay, we're inside the camper. Power's off, so we've opened up some windows and got out of light. But this is what we're going to do next. We're going to make one adjustment. On this particular setup, we have our our shore power right here. 
we have our breakers for our shore power we have our fuses for our 12 volt and then we have this plate over here part of the converter and there's a little dip switch right there that needs to be moved over just a little bit from lead acid to lithium ion profile um i have heard of these breaking so just be very gentle it's about as simple as it comes i'm gonna see if i can get in there so you can see it flips over it's not labeled very well um just moved it over to the far side our unit does have a solar controller and it can accept lithium batteries but i always recommend you check with the manufacturer as i'm doing here and make sure that your lithium battery is compatible and the battle born is with this particular model right here so now we just need to make some adjustments so that it is moved over from agm to lithium now i said agm uh, this was delivered to me from the dealer set up for agm even though i have flooded batteries not agm that the dealer put in so uh if you got a new unit you might want to go check and make sure your dealer set it up right because mine was not right. doing the one thing i never do i'm turning to instructions it gives me some simple instructions on how to change the battery and we're going to give that a so following our directions we're going to hold down the b one two three it should start blinking and it is now we're going to we can see it's on agm we're going to hit b again and it's now flooded that's where it should have been set hit b again sealed hit b again agm flooded lfp that's what we're wanting so we will now confirm that with an a the next thing we need to set was this bat is this battery monitor now this one's already happens to be set because i played with it for a little bit but essentially if you hold this for a little bit we'll come here and you set your cap amp hours that's i have two 100 watt batteries so that's 200 and then um, i want to no be notified by an alarm when it gets down to 20 amp hour batteries. Now this high and low, you can leave it at zero, but then you'll have to manually set and basically reset the tool every time you're at a hundred percent. Or you can utilize the voltage that will indicate where you are in your charging. Now, the manual has some recommendations that, that you can look up on the internet for this Go Power unit uh, for a lithium a gel, uh, in flooded batteries, but it does say for more accuracy, go to your manufacturer's recommendation and in with your lithium battery. If you bought a battle born battery, comes this chart. So I have set the high value or 100% charged at 14.4 volts and the 0% charge at our low at 10.0 volts. And because that it, it recognizes we're at 14.5 volts which means that we are at a hundred percent and we have our full 200 amp hours so that's how that works uh, it just remember if you don't set that high and low voltage on this particular meter then what you'll have to do is you come in and you reset you wait till the batteries are charged and you let the monitor know that it's charged and then it basically monitors as it draws down however um if you set those uh, the voltage high and low, then it will automatically calculate where you're at and you won't have to do that. So, or at least that's my understanding. Somebody can comment below if they have a different one. All right, finished up. It took almost a cup of coffee, about 15 minutes, but I think we can truly say it is uh, just drop in capable to install the Battleborn batteries. Uh, now to figure out what to do with these two.